I may not be the biggest Obama fan in the world, but you gotta admit, this guy was a nutcase. Um, coming to the Alaska State Fair holding a big sign that says impeach Obama, I mean, yeah, I understand free speech and I support free speech to a certain degree, but if you're preaching hatred or if you're causing a disturbance, then it becomes a problem and you can't hide behind free speech in a case like that. Now, in this video, we see a man getting arrested and held down on the ground because of his impeach Obama sign by security at the Alaska State Fair. The guy is a supporter of Lyndon LaRouche. I think that's how you pronounce his name. LaRouche? LaRouche? Maybe even be LaRock. I don't know. I've never even heard of this person. But he supports the impeachment of Obama. So this older dude is holding up this sign and gets slammed on the ground, which I don't agree with either. I think that was excessive force and it was unnecessary. But the guy was acting like a total nutcase. He was yelling and screaming and had the crowd cheering for him. And there were all these dudes coming up to him. Like one guy shook his hand and another guy like got in front for like a little photo op. Uh, I guess they thought it was funny. I don't know. But I'm thinking that these people were most likely pretty conservative and they would not think twice about blaming the victim in a case of discrimination. If this man were to go off spouting off homophobia and racism, unfortunately a lot of these people probably would have agreed because that's what kind of society we live in. People are very viciously socially conservative and they you know, they think that minorities are just the worst demonic people to walk the face of the earth, and that includes gay people. With all these gay youth committing suicide lately, I can guarantee you that probably most of the people that you see in this video who are attending were, you know, they'd, they'd probably be like, oh, well, that's their fault because they weren't strong enough, or you shouldn't be gay, you shouldn't choose that lifestyle choice. And you've got older dudes, like the guy who got wrestled to the ground, preaching this hatred, and you've got the younger crowd that looks up to people like him, instead of questioning it, they, they would walk up to him and shake his hand instead, because they believe that bigotry and intolerance is a correct way of thinking. And that's a problem that we've got in our society. People don't want progress. They want everything to stay the same. They want to pretend that gay people don't exist. And they want to use racist comments against our president, and though, like I said, I'm not particularly fond of them either, but I'd never stand and waste my time saying impeach the motherfucker. And I certainly wouldn't call him a nigger or anything like that. I've heard comments like that from my own family and disgust me. So that's some food for thought, and just my take on the issue. Lord, I'm going to get some shit for this. <laughs> but it's YouTube, who cares? It's all in good fun. Later I'll be making a video about Tony Perkins, the idiot from the Family Research Council, who thinks that gays chose their alternative lifestyles and that we're abnormal. Uh, he's just another closeted homosexual who loves to suck dick and needs to come out of the closet. So stay tuned for that, kiddos. I'm going to do some shopping, go to the bank, and just spin, spin, spin. So everybody have a great afternoon. Until next time.